What's up, y'all? Hey, man, I just want to give you guys a overview of how I've been having this car. This K900 for 21, 22, 23, 24, for three years. I've had this car for three years, and uh, I really want to give you guys a POP, POV shot, but I couldn't really set it up, so maybe I'll try it again a little later, but we're just going to cruise and chop it up. So let me get about this garage. You know, I'm in a garage, straight pipe. So yeah, pretty much, man, having this car for three years has been really, really dope, bro. Like, honestly, I have no complaints about this car. I mean, I have some issues with it. Of course, I'll be explaining this video. But overall, having this car has just been a, a blast. You know, it's unique, it's rare. Get loads of attention, uh, thanks to the straight pipe, of course. I think if I didn't have it straight piped, nobody would really know what kind of car this is, what makes it you know, more cool. So pretty much the main problems I've had with this car is my alignment, man. I've gotten alignment so many times on this car. I mean, it's been insane. Uh, I do, it, it comes factory with 245s on the front and 275s on the back, both 19s. So it's a stagger set and it comes like that from the factory. So I don't know if that's the reason why my alignments be so crazy, but I've got so many alignments and I've got so many tires that have been, you know, popped or, or flats, you know, whatever you want to call it. So many, I can't even count on my finger. I've replaced tires on here so much, bro. And uh, that's like such a, it, it, it just sucks. It really does. So even when I get a brand new alignment, it's still not aligned all the way. Maybe it's some, some, some other issues I don't know about, but I can only say what I've gone through and the maintenance that I've had to do. So my alignments have been ass for sure. Uh, my tire pressure light been on for the longest. It, that those went out. You know, little stuff I'm not really tripping about. Uh, the headlight, man. Both of my headlights, I hit, I hit crazy potholes, man. My headlights, both of them are swooped down. So uh, they wanted me to replace them five thousand a piece. I'm just not having that, man. No way, bro. So I get, you can't still see. But with the lights like drooped, it's kind of hard without you getting them fixed. And so uh, both of those went out hitting two potholes. You hit the potholes, man, you, your lights are gonna go down. I'll give you a night shot uh, sooner or later so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, the potholes definitely, potholes definitely made it hard to see at night for sure. Uh, let me wipe this jump Okay, cool. Uh, then the, the center console, of course, it doesn't close. I mean, it had broke off. I had lifted up one time and it just, the thing just broke off. And I tried to get it fixed. First, I tried to super glue it back on, it didn't work. I tried all that, so I took it to the dealership and they said I had to replace this whole console, all this, just for this little piece. So, nah, and that was like 3,500. 3, be in mind, I got a warranty too, through uh, through my bank, not through uh, Kia. So I was like, Nah, man, that's cool. Uh, next thing, uh, my heated and cool seats went out on the driver's side. I guess I overused them. Maybe just a fuse that needs to be replaced, but I haven't replaced them. Uh, AC been out for a long time. I got it fixed multiple times, and it still keeps going out. I don't know what's up with the AC, so the AC doesn't work at all. So that's why I ride with the sunroof open all the time. Uh, I'm trying to think what else, is there any issues wise? Uh, oh, now every time I start the car, all my settings like reset, man. Like my chair reset, my wheel, my steering wheel reset, the radio reset, my curtain back there reset. I don't know, it's just weird. I don't know, like I said, maybe these are problems that I could get fixed. 
you know if I just maybe replace the battery or something. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really checked. This is just you know kind of stuff that I live with. I don't really drive the car all the time because I work from home now. So I just have the car. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's just annoying. It's, it's, it's very annoying. Uh, I'm trying to think what else, man. Just, I want to get all the bad stuff out. Uh, the radio always going out all the time. Like, so much, man. It'll go black for like three, four hours. I have to reset it. Or it'll just stop working. The backup camera doesn't work. My front camera doesn't work. Like, all that stuff just stop working. It'll just stop working and just go blank. Like I said, I haven't took it in to get it looked at because this one, like, I really don't care. I bought this car for the V8 and the sunroof. Like, you're gonna be completely honest with you. I'm coming from a Charger, so having a V8 and the sunroof, that's all I wanted, man. And uh, yeah, 420 horsepower definitely is, is cool. This is a heavy car, but it's cool. Let's go on, get on the highway. seen that actually has a twin turbo but that was custom so don't see that happening anytime soon if i had the money for real i would definitely twin turbo, turbo this thing because i mean damn some pretty motherfuckers over here oh no oh well, yeah so go ahead so yeah that's pretty much it guys i'll give you guys some pvp or something here in a little bit and uh yeah y'all be safe